Welcome back to Lorcana Academy. Today is a head-to-head -head matchup between the brand new Into the Inkland starter decks. These decks are fresh out of the box, have not been changed, and we're gonna find out which one is better. And as always, thanks to Cool Stuff Inc. for sponsoring the show. Uh, if you need to get a copy of these starter decks yourself, you can head on over to Cool Stuff and use the code ACADEMY for 5% off your order at checkout. And incidentally, thanks to everyone who has been doing that. Apparently, it is a lot of you, and it goes a long way to help keeping the show sustainable and making sure that you get more videos. Today's matchup is between your two favorite Deans here on the channel, so let's get into the game. Hi, I'm Veggie Wagon, and I'm going to be playing the Amber and Emerald starter deck. Uh, this one has a more aggressive game plan, and we're going to be playing a bunch of your favorite dogs from Disney. I'm Airball, and I'm going to be playing the Ruby Sapphire starter deck. It's a bit of a slower burn than Veggie's deck. We're going to be cheating items into play and getting synergies with Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Roll as he goes first. Sounds good. Six, seven. Oh. All right, I am going to alter three. Uh, I'm going to alter four. All right, draw my card for turn, and I will turn a mini mouse into ink, and use that ink immediately for mini mouse mm -hmm. and pass. I will ink Raleigh, and pay one for Kita, and pass. Does turning the dogs into ink feel like you are Cruella? <laughs> like you've just made them into your coat. <laughs> I'm I, I guess it depends on how many, right? Alright. Louie turning into ink. Two for Della Duck. She's a 3-3 reckless. And Minnie Mouse is going to quest for one. And we'll pass. That's me. The unstoppable mom. I'm going to ink Wendy Darling. I'm gonna pay one ink for Deville Manor. Deville Manor is a location that has four willpower and it costs me one to move characters there. I'll spend my other one for another Kita. And uh, I will challenge Minnie All for right. two. She'll take it on the on the chin. And pass. All right, I'll ink this Maid Marion. And pay three. For a Sumerian Talisman, during my turn, whenever one of my characters is banished in a challenge, I can draw a card. Oh. It's not bad. Uh, Minnie is going to challenge Kira. They'll both die, and I will draw a card. And Della Duck is reckless, so must challenge Deville Manor. And pass the turn. I'll ready my cards. At set, I will gain one lore from my location, then I'll draw. I will ink Jasper. I'll spend three for Wildcat, a two, three with evasive and can disassemble. I can exert to banish chosen item. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Something's Something of mine's going away, so I will quest with Kita and pass to you. I don't like that. I really wanted that to stick around a little <laughs> longer. Right, and evasive, like that's pretty good. All right, well, we'll try to do something about that. I'm gonna ink this Gramatala and we'll pay for for Moana. It's a 3-4 evasive. Ah. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to throw this Della Duck under any bus, um, but I will have her destroy Deville Manor. Mm -hmm. And that's the turn. Ink, strike a good match. I'm going to pay 4 for Cubby, Mighty Lost Boy. 3-5 uh, with the bear. Whenever this character moves to a location, he gets plus 3 strength this turn. He's got that bear in him. Well, on him, it's the outfit. Uh, I'm going to exert Wildcat to destroy this Marion Talisman. Okay. Probably a bad idea for me to quest with Kita, so I'll pass. I've basically given up on assembling the assembling Tron. I'm going to ink this Louie. And we'll pay five for other Moana. 4-4, uh, four, four, quest for two. Whenever this character quests while at a location, ready all other characters there, and they can't quest for the okay. rest of the turn. Uh, Moana is going to fight Wildcat and take two. And Della Duck uh, can't do anything. So that's going to be the turn. I'm going to pay four for Lucky, the 15th puppy. A 2-3 with a whole lot of text. Yeah. Good as new, I can exert to reveal the top three cards of my deck. I can put each character card with cost two or less into my hand and then put the rest on the bottom. 
or Puppy Love whenever this character quests. If you have four or more other characters in play, your other characters get plus one lore this turn. I also don't think you have really good challenges here, so I'm going to have uh, Cubby quest for one. Okay. I'll pass to you. I mean, this was the line I was working towards, so we'll just do it, I guess. We're going to pay two for Mata Nui. Mm -hmm. It is a location with a one move cost, gains one lore at the beginning of each of my turns, and has five willpower. And we're going to migrate the entire team, both Moana's and the duck, over to Mata Nui. And Moana is going to quest for one. Della Duck is going to unfortunately have to blow herself up on Cubby. Mm -hmm. But because Della Duck is banished and she was at Matanui, uh, instead of going to my graveyard, she's going to go into my inkwell exerted. We're going to quest with this Moana, which is what we came here to do, and that will ready up the other Moana. She can't quest again. I don't feel the need to throw it away for a Cubby. Mm -hmm. So that's where we'll leave it. All right, I feel like this is going to make me sad, but I want my cards. Uh, it's good as new. I'm going to reveal the top three. One, two, three. Nice. Nani. Uh, I'm going to get my two Dalmatian puppies since they cost two or less, and Nani will go to the bottom of my deck. In any order. In any order. I'm immediately going to ink one of these Dalmatian puppies. You monster. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to use that to play a Don Carnage, a 4-4 four, four evasive quest for two lore. Uh, and then I think I need to get rid of Montanui. So I will have both Cubby and Kita challenge it for the five. It's gone. Pass the turn. All right. Uh, let's start by getting some information. I'm going to pay four and we're going to play Gramatala. I get to look at the top two cards in my deck, put one in my hand, the rest on the bottom. That's valuable information. Because originally, I was going to play this, but instead, I will turn Gyro Gear Loose into Ink. Okay. His job was going to be to get a Sumerian Talisman out of my graveyard and back onto the top of my deck, but I no longer need that, because we're going to play a Sumerian Talisman. Mm. It's back. I am going to fight Lucky with Moana. Mm -hmm. They'll trade, I'll draw a card. I'll quest for two with Moana. Over to you. I thought things were going to be real bad for me this game when uh, when Della Duck came out, and I was like, well, that automatically makes problems for all of my smaller characters and my locations, but I think this turned out all right. I do feel behind now all of a sudden. Yeah, I, I also feel that you are behind all of a sudden. Uh, I'm going to have Don Carnage challenge Moana. Sure. Get those out of here. Pay five for Nani. Nani? <gasps> The three six with bodyguard the quest for two. I'm gonna have that come in exerted. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about her being Moana's mom, but she is not. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when yep. when nerd girl and Z Bex aren't here. Yep. <laughs> um, I am going to quest for two. Why not? While I have the bodyguard out, I will ink this Dalmatian puppy and then use that one for Pluto, uh, a 0-2 that quests for one and can also exert to make my next character cost one less. Pass the turn. So let's start here. We'll play five, and I will dragon fire Nani. <sighs> yeah. And I think I'll take the opportunity to trade Gramatala for Cubby mm -hmm. and draw a card. And we'll pay the last two ink I have. For a hey hey. Once per turn, when it moves to location, each opponent loses a lore. And yeah. that's the turn. This this is pretty easy. I'm just gonna pay five ink for another Don Carnage. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, I am going to quest for one with Kita and pass. That card is just so good. I just don't have great answers to it. Yeah. Uh Hey Hey's gonna trade with Kita. Mm -hmm. And I'll draw a card. Yeah, you got all those cards. I don't know what you're worried about. <laughs> I am still mildly concerned. Here's six, and we're going to play two Kakamoras. Each opponent loses one lore. One, two. And we'll pass. I'm going to pay four. 
for patch, a three, four, quest for one, or I can bark and exert to give chosen character minus two strength until the start of my next turn. I am definitely going to quest for two. I think I'm just gonna do this. Uh, I'm going to say good dog Pluto, make my next character cost one less and play this Jetsum, which is a two, two with ward. Also gives Flotsam ward if I have him out uh, and quest for two, pass. Okay, so Kakamura is going to go ahead and eat Pluto. Honestly, would have liked it if it had died, but <laughs> it didn't. We'll pay two for a Duke Weaselton. It's a one, two quest for two with ward. All right, and then I'll play Maui, 5-2 uh, Reckless. Uh, if I have a Hey Hey in play in that Hey Hey quest, Maui loses Reckless and can quest for one that turn. I think that's got to be where we leave it. There's no good attacks, and I don't want you to kill my Kakamura, so I'll pass. The Maui makes things a lot tougher. Yeah, but he still can't deal with Don Carnage over there. Right. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pay four for a Cubby, quest for two, pass the turn. Okay. That could have been a lot worse. All right, so Maui has no legal targets, so he doesn't get to do anything this turn. I'm going to quest for two with the Duke, try to keep up with you some way, somehow, and invite you to attack it to expose some of your other stuff to me, please. <laughs> and I think all I'm going to do this turn is I'm going to pay three for Dewey. It's a two, three with support, and that quests for two. And that's the turn. Hmm, what is it that I've drawn? <laughs> okay yeah if you don't have answers i'm not gonna help you draw into answers so i'm going to quest with don carnage and pass to you mm -hmm. really wish you would <laughs> all right duke is gonna go on a quest for two and i'll pay five to dragon fire don carnage ah uh, there it is those are my only good moves so i will pass I'll pay four for another cubby. Okay. I think I'll have Jetsum challenge Duke Weaselton. Okay. I will pay one for Neverland. Move cost one and four willpower, but that's it. I will pass to you. Start here. We'll pay five for Maid Marion. Four, four quest for two. And when I play this character, chosen character gets negative two power this turn. I'm going to choose Jetsum. Um, Maui is going to fight Jetsum and not take any damage. Dewey and the two Kakamoras will all quest for a total of four. I'm going to ink this voyage that has not been good for most of the game. Mm -hmm. And we'll spend the three ink to get Webby Vanderquack in play. It's a three, four quest for one. And pass the turn. Neverland will gain me one. Uh, I'll pay four for another patch. I will have patch challenge Dewey. Okay. I'll have Cubby challenge Kakamura. Cubby challenge the other Kakamura. And that's my turn. I think the most important thing is just to make your life more difficult. So instead of hitting Neverland, Maui's going to trade with Cubby. Mm-hmm. And we'll draw. We'll have Vanderquack trade with Cubby. Uh, we'll quest for two. We'll spend seven total for another Vanderquack, Huey, and Cogsworth. <laughs> Huey's a 2-2 support. Uh, whenever he quests, if I have Dewey and Louie in play, I get to draw three cards if I want. And Cogsworth is a 2-3 quest for one. And my characters with Reckless can actually quest for Lore instead. And that's the turn. Oh, that is the turn. Yeah, best I can do is not lose immediately. Uh, I will have both patches challenge made Marion. I'll play Kida and pass the turn. All right. Pay four for Flintheart Glomgold. Uh, it's evasive on my turn in quest for two. And we're going to quest out for three up to 19. And pass to you. All right. I gain one from Neverland. I'll draw. I will play this Dalmatian puppy. I'll quest for one. Pass back to you. All right. And I will quest for lethal with Vanderquack because it's fun to say. <laughs> okay. Game two. Game two. I'm going to alter five. Okay. I'll alter three, I think. All right. All right. 
I'm going to start by inking Improvise and paying one for Neverland. It's a good start. Pass to you. I'm going to ink a mini mouse and play Flounder and pass. All right. Ready at set. I'll gain one from Neverland and draw. I will ink Deville Manor. Pay two for a Dimension Puppy. Two, three, quest for one. And where did they all come from? I can have up to 99 copies of Dalmatian Puppy Tail Wagger in my deck. I still don't understand why it's 99. Isn't it 101 Dalmatians? I, I, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the 99 is for, but uh, pass. Some Disney nerd is like, oh, actually, it's 99, but they there were two that pretended to be in the movie, so right. that made it 101. Yes, you mean the other two Disney nerds that are <laughs> right. on the channel? <laughs> Cruella was wearing a Dalmatian coat and pretending to be a Dalmatian, mm, so right. she's the 100th. Yeah. <laughs> actually Dalmatian's monster. <laughs> I'm gonna ink another mini. We'll pay two for a Della Duck and say that if you want to eat my flounder when it hits Neverland for two, at least you're gonna die on the crackback. Okay. And I'll pass to you. Two damage there. Yeah, see, you would say that. I would. I did. I'm gonna gain one from Neverland and draw my card. Uh, I'm going to ink this Flotsam and then I'm going to pay three for Kit Cloud Kicker. Uh, 2 2 quest for one, but it's also going to return Della Duck to your hand. Okay. And then the Dalmatian Puppy is going to challenge Flounder. Past you. I am in danger. All right, we'll turn this Voyage into ink. And I'm just going to replay Della. Mm -hmm. Pass to you. All right. I'll gain another one from Neverland. I'm going to ink Raleigh. Pay one for a Pluto. Uh, you know what? I'll pay one more for a Pluto. And then I will turn my stuff sideways uh, and quest with the Dalmatian Puppy and Kit Cloud Kicker. Up to five. Pass to you. Playing both of those Plutos is... Uh concerning <laughs> what else am i gonna do with them i you guess can't, i can't true. ink them yeah you can turn the other dogs into ink but pluto <laughs> we love pluto more right something something about how half the dogs in the disney universe are just dogs and the other half are sentient people that talk and pluto is some weird in between something something i thought goofy was a dog i've been told goofy? that's not true that is true. Okay. Goofy is a dog. Someone has been lying to me. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to ink this fish hook because I don't think the uh, the item strategy is where I want to be when I'm down this much. Della is going to eat Neverland. And we'll pay four for Louie. Mm -hmm. And I'll pass. I'm going to exert Pluto. So my next uh, character costs one less. Then I'm going to pay four to shift Pluto onto the other Pluto. Okay. So this is uh, Pluto Determined Defender, a 3-8 bodyguard. At the start of my turn, I remove up to three damage and quest for two. Three damage from it or three from damage from it? Okay. Just from it, yeah. I'm going to have it challenge Della Duck. Yeah. And then I'll just quest here for two more. Pass to you. That's pretty nasty. Yeah. I realize also it's it's very cute if you even if you don't have the double Pluto like I do, you can uh, it can reduce itself and then it just is already exerted for the bodyguard. Mm -hmm. We're gonna start with the Sumerian talisman, and we're gonna have to deal with that Pluto eventually. I'm thinking about just throwing Louis at it, but I think I'm gonna give myself one more turn to draw the answer. I'm going to turn Flintheart Glom Gold into ink, and we'll try to develop a little more. I'm gonna put Duke Weaselton into play and hope the top of my deck is good to me. <laughs> we'll pass. Pluto's going to heal for three. I'm gonna pay four for a cubby. Okay. And then do this thing. One, two, three, four, five lore. Yeah. Pass to you. I'll quest for two. Mm -hmm. Support onto Duke. Mm -hmm. Duke is going to hit Pluto for four and blow itself up in the process. And I'll draw a card. 
And I really don't want to throw away material, but I think I need to ink this Maid Marion so that I can be ink efficient. We'll pay four for Moana mm -hmm. and two more for Scrooge McDuck. When he quests, the next item I play costs one less that turn. And we'll pass. That's sure. where we leave it. Ready. We're going to take three damage off Pluto and draw. I'm going to ink Helga Sinclair. I'm going to pay five for your friend, Don Carnage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> it just got rolled this game. Yeah. And then we'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six lore. And good luck. Your turn. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, all right. Game three. I'm going to alter another five. Uh, yeah, I'm going to alter one. I don't know that that's right, but... Oh, wow. Okay. All right, good to go. Mm-hmm. Ink Cogsworth and pass. I'm going to ink Wendy Darling and pay one for Deville Manor and pass. I'm going to ink Webby Vanderquack. We're going to pay two for... Scrooge McDuck. When he quests, one less for the next item. Pass. All right. I'm going to gain a lore from the manor. I'm going to ink Jasper. I'm going to spend one for Neverland. Yep. And I'm going to pay one for Kida. Okay. Pass to you. I'm going to turn this voyage into ink. I'm going to quest with McDuck and pay three instead of four. Or the vault door. My locations and characters at them uh, gain resist one. And we'll pass. Gonna gain two lore for my locations. Draw a card. I'm going to ink hypnotize. I'm gonna pay three for Pongo. Uh, it's a three two quest for one and once per turn I can pay two ink to reveal the top card of my deck. If it's a character I put it in my hand but otherwise I put it on the bottom. I'll just quest with Kida. Sure. Pass to you. I'm going to ink this Moana. We'll pay three for Agrabah. Costs one to move there, gains two every turn, and has five total health. We're going to move Mr. Duck over there. Mm -hmm. And he is going to hit Kida and take one. And we'll pass. Gain two more lore. I'm going to have Pongo challenge uh, Scrooge McDuck. Okay. Ink this Improvise and pay four for your favorite. It's lucky. <sighs> yeah, okay. Man, the Agrabah is a lot, but having the damage from Kida is bad, so I think I will just gain the lore and pass. This feels terrible, but we gain two from Agrabah during mm -hmm. the set stage. All right, well, this Moana is going to get turned into ink. We're going to pay two for Huey, and we're going to pay three for Webby, and we'll pass. I'm going to gain two more from my locations. Yep. Good as new. I'm going to reel a top three and put any that costs two or less into my hand, which is just Helga Sinclair. Very glad to see that Pongo go to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Probably not going to matter, but uh, I am going to then just immediately ink Helga. I'm going to pay five for Nani, who is going to come in as a bodyguard. Mm -hmm. I'll quest with uh, Pongo and Kida. Pass the turn. Ready and set and gain two from Agrabah. I'll ink this Sumerian talisman because we are too far behind. I'm going to pay two for a Hey Hey. When it moves to a location, each opponent's going to lose a lore. And the last four will be for Louie. I think Webby and Huey are both going to have to swing out at, I don't think it matters, Neverland. Okay. I'm hellbent Woo! to you. Ready, set, draw. What a great game. That's a great game. I'm having a real good time. I'm going to pay one for Pluto. Uh-huh. And I'm going to pay three more for Kit Cloud Kicker. Oh, no. I, <laughs> I'm going to return Hey Hey to your hand. Sure. Uh, and then I'm going to quest with Lucky for one. With Puppy Love, uh, when it quests, if I have 
four or more other characters, which I definitely do, uh, they all quest for an additional lore this turn. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, for exactly the win. Yeah. Woo! That was a pretty bonkers game. Uh, Veggie, your deck kind of seemed to do the thing in each of the games we played. How did it feel? Uh, it felt great. Uh, honestly, I think that deck right out of the box uh, functions really well, has a good game plan, and constantly keeps cards in your hand. So I think that's a really good place to start. Yeah, I felt like I also had a proactive game plan, but yours was better and I couldn't really answer it, especially when you went first. But the idea of the deck was pretty cool. Location seemed great. And with a few upgrades, I think it could be really good. And if you want to get those upgrades, you can head on over to our sponsor, CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, buy single sealed product, whatever floats your boat. 5% uh, off your order with the code Academy at checkout. And of course, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you know when all of our newest videos come out. Uh, that's all we've got for you for today. We'll see you next time on Lorcana Academy. Academy.